So the weather forecast for Dublin was gloomy and wet for today so I decided that I would take you along with me on a slow weekend morning. I actually love a day like this every once in a while. The rain is kind of comforting when you've nowhere to be and there's no pressure to rush. I really enjoy waking up and kind of settling into the day at a different pace than usual. And I find that it really resets my batteries, leaving me feeling refreshed for many days after. As with any morning, I start by washing my face and brushing my teeth first thing. to set out my workout clothes the night before and put them on before having a coffee or anything because I find that if I don't do this I'm much less likely to exercise in the morning and it really sets my day off right doing it this way. The first most important task of my morning routine once I've woken up is feeding my three cats. It is a hard task to ignore because they're all over me as soon as I come downstairs but I wouldn't have it any other way. I try to drink a bottle of water before my coffee because I wake up quite dehydrated. I also do a lot of staring into space before I have my coffee. I don't know if that's just me but there we have it. Today I decided despite the rain to take a few steps in the garden I honestly love the crisp air when it's raining and it really helps me to wake up. My cats feature a lot in my days so I hope you're not sick of them yet. I definitely haven't. Whoa. <laughs> The obvious next step is coffee. I really look forward to my coffee in the morning, as a lot of people do I'm sure. I typically use an espresso machine but I just kind of felt like a coffee from the French press today. I've been really trying to keep away from my phone early in the morning. I find that if I start my day looking through my emails and social media, it really just sets a bad tone for the rest of the day and I use my phone a lot more overall when I start the day that way. So I try to read and leave my phone upstairs. Some days I'll read for an hour and others for only 10 minutes but it gives my brain a chance to wake up and not be so bombarded by other people's lives and the things that I need to get done the second that I open my eyes. I'm still reading Jay Shetty's Think Like a Monk and I'm really enjoying it. It really makes me think about the kind of person that I want to be, both for myself and for those around me, and has opened my eyes to a lot of ways that I could improve my life. I would really recommend it. After my coffee and reading, I'll usually go straight to work out. Today I was doing some upper body, I've been sick for a few days so this was my first day really getting back into it and it felt amazing!
a quick shower, throw on a big jumper that usually belongs to my dad and sometimes I'll put on some light makeup if I have things to do just to brighten my face up a little bit. today. I know very original, very unique. I cut up some tomatoes to put on the avocado toast and some strawberries on the side. point and listen to either music or a podcast while I eat. I took the rest of the coffee from the French press and decided to do some journaling. This is my diffuser that my mom got for me recently and I really like it. It's really soothing and makes the room smell really nice as well. I can be quite bad for journaling regularly, even though it makes me feel good to reflect on how I'm feeling at the moment. Rainy, gloomy days like this one feel like the perfect opportunity to do some writing. Hey everyone, I hope that you can hear me from over here. I'm sorry if you can hear that ticking noise. Our boiler is about to explode and there's nothing that I can do about it. Since it is such a disgusting day, I have decided to do a little bit of easy baking to pass the time. So I am cooking raspberry and lemon muffins and they're from the website Cookie and Kate and they seem pretty simple to make. But yeah, I'm just going to get started. I have all my ingredients out in front of me. And I have halved this recipe. So these are the ingredients we're working with. Lemon zest, frozen raspberries, olive oil, maple syrup, Greek yogurt, baking soda, baking powder and salt. This is regular cream flour, vanilla extract, an egg, blah blah blah, flour, baking powder, baking soda and salt. And mix well. The day is actually picking up, it's actually kind of sunny out now, but we're gonna go ahead with this nice activity anyways. What? Blend this with a whisk! It's gonna go everywhere. I don't think I need to do that. Okay, let's just do a little. We're doing foil, honey or maple syrup. Is that a piece of cheese in there? Yeah. It's going to take a lot for me not to stick things in my mouth. Add the egg. Add the yogurt. And then add the lemon zest. Finding makeshift tripods to film all these angles is not easy. It's pretty easy, so let's 
see how they turn out. But it's still hot and kind of gooey. I feel like they'll be better when they cool down a little bit. I think I'm gonna leave it here. I have had a lovely morning and I've really enjoyed filming this. Let me know how you feel about this editing style. I do much prefer using my camera, but I don't always feel comfortable bringing it out. I don't wanna break it or lose it. So I usually film on my phone then, which compromises the quality obviously but I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next week when I will hopefully be moving to Galway so see you soon have a lovely day just to let you know the sun has come out now so we're happy we're thriving the gloomy morning is over the sun is coming out please subscribe if you enjoyed this video it would be really nice and like it as well if you enjoyed it so I'll see you next week bye